What are you doing, silly? Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday, October. <laughs> I'm just looking at these silly dogs. Uh, October 18th, 2018. Crazy. Um, so this morning, about seven o'clock. See, it's great. I'm gonna go around the other side here, so you can see it better. The uh, guy showed up this morning at 7, dropped this one off, and the one over there, and you can actually see that one steaming. Uh, so I started raking this one out already, obviously. So they uh, dropped those two loads off this morning. So a lot of that one, I'm going to come over here real quick. So this is my chore for today. So this is... I figured I would make my video early so you can actually see too. Uh, we had snow last night, first snow of the season. So obviously we got our first frost. And uh, you can see the pepper plants are going. So some snow in the garden. but uh, So they dropped this pile off over here as well. Of course when I pretty much got the other pile done. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, a lot of that's going to go in the garden. I'm going to spread that all around in the garden itself and really going to put a real good layer of wood chips on there. Like I said, we already have some leaves in there already. And so, uh, puppy's got, what do you got? A plastic cup. Imagine that. So, they dropped, like I said, it was about 7 this morning. They came in and asked me where I wanted them, so I had to put the one load here and put the other load there. I still have this load also. So they brought me four more loads all together so far now. And uh, so I'll be working on spreading these around and uh, just keep working at it. And uh, But uh, I couldn't be more than, more than happy because, I mean, you can see, obviously they had dumped a load in here, but uh, we had raked that all out, but you can still see that's lower in this area. So basically that whole pile there and a lot of that pile are going to get put right in this area. And uh, so that's where these two piles are going to end up going. And I'd like to I'll probably wheelbarrow some of it over into this other area over here. Because now with getting this more filled in, that's going to be my low area. So I told him, I said, bring me more. So I really want to work on the, I'm not going to work on this one today. That one's basically going to sit there and I'll work on that at another time. I'm going to work on these two and get these spread out so when they bring me more, they can just pile more into this whole area. And then I can just keep uh, filling in, filling in, and uh, hopefully bring this level up and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But uh, it's definitely colder. Uh, like I said, we had snow overnight. Make sure I can see if there's still snow on the wood pile or not. I'll take you over there real quick. But uh, the flags are blowing in here. We have a nice breeze going. So it is definitely chilly, but we're freaking on camera. 
can't say that I'm really... Uh, I think all this snow over here is pretty much melted off already. Let's have a look and see. Eh, there's still a little bit on here, you can see in the front. But the sun is out now, so it's going to you know, definitely melt that off pretty quick. So today we're looking at highs in the low 40s. It's going to be in the 30s again tonight overnight. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be in the 60s. So, you know, I just want to work on this while we got it. Like I said, they brought me the two loads this morning. They said they'll bring me up some more. So I really want to get those spread out so they can, if they can dump two more loads in that same area, even if I have to wheelbarrow anything else that I get, because uh, I'll go right over here on the other side of this. Uh, yeah, see, now over in here, up in this area here is pretty higher, but right in through here is really low. Uh, they really can't get farther back in here because this is kind of soft in through here. So, but I mean, if I had it my way, I would have them dump a load right there. I'd bring another load here and another load here and just spread those out. But uh, like I said, I'll do the best I can with what I got. And like I said, if I have to wheelbarrow a bunch of it, that's exactly what I'll do. But uh, so that's my game plan for today. Um, you know, they uh, brought me that, the two loads, and like I said, I already had this one here. So that one's going to get spread out more in the center area to bring that level up. And, uh, I'll, I'm, you know, like I said, I, I didn't expect to get any more, but uh, when they came and, and I caught them and I said, Hey, man, bring me some more if you can. And he goes, How many do you want? I said, As many as you can bring me. And he says, No, be careful what you wish for. I said, Well, I'll tell you what, if you bring me up like eight loads, I said, I'm not going to say no. I mean, they're doing the trees in the neighborhood. It's free wood chips. It don't cost me anything. And eventually, this will turn into premium soil. I mean, this whole area, what I'm going to do eventually is this whole area, I'll probably, because it'll be higher and the soil's going to be awesome after this all settles in and, and stuff like that, I'll, I'll probably plant like squash and stuff here that's going to go ahead and spread out, and that'll be fine. And that would be a really good area. Like I said, once these, these wood chips mulch down, it's going to be fantastic. So, And the soil already in this area was already good. Um, it was a nice, rich black soil. But with being able to add this onto it and have it mulch down, and I think it's going to be freaking absolutely awesome. So, like I said, we just with everything here at the homestead, it's just going to be a work in progress. And I'm just going to keep working at stuff. Uh, this is something that, like I said, it's not costing me a whole lot of money to do, obviously, because they're uh, bringing it for free. And so all i got to do is just do the moving it around and stuff like that. Uh, good news, Heather, this morning, we took her uh, to the DMV this morning, and she passed her permit test. So Heather does have her driving permit now. So that is a good thing. And uh, we'll find out today at some point if she is accepted into this program. And... Uh, when we know, we will let you guys know. So uh, I'm pretty confident that she's going to be accepted because, like I said, she's a very, very smart girl. And I think she's going to do very well. So uh, I have no doubt that she'll be accepted in the program. And when she is, then we'll go from there. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here so I can get back to work. Uh, puppies are running around like crazy, as you can see here in the background. They're having a good time. And... Uh, but, uh, yeah, so it's, you know, a good thing. These, this is a good thing. And uh, so when I saw them this morning, I was like, oh, fantastic. So that was, uh, you know, a little work to do, but that's a good thing. So anyway, I am going to jump off here for now. And uh, like I said, uh, probably I can let you know in tomorrow's video if Heather got into this program or not. And Because, uh, like I said, we'll know at some point today. So it's coming out of California. So we might not even know till later in the day because they're three hours behind us. So anyway, so that's it for now. Um, remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And uh, I'm going to actually turn this around. You can see the steam coming off of this one, too. You can see the steam coming off of there. But this one here, you can see the steam really coming off really, really well. Uh, remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So that's real important to do. And remember, STD, guys, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. 
Okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope everybody's having a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.